Hello guys, we meet again. Today I will try to recreate one of the Super Home Crash Bandicoot levels, the bridge level, or O to Nowhere. If you ever played this level then you have probably experienced what it feels like to be mad. So my goal today is to stick to the original concept of this level but I will try to make it even harder. But before I start I would like to show you some of the changes that I made in my Crash Bandicoot prototype game. So the biggest change is the main character. And now you are probably asking yourself, where is the Bandicoot? Good question. In my Crash game the mask is the main character and Bandicoot is the one that follows and protects you. But don't quit the video yet. You can play as Crash too. Anyways guys if this video gets one like I will share the game with you. I also created new animations for the characters because you kindly let me know that the old ones were not much of a masterpiece. Okay I get it, but let's try it once again. Crates. Crates are important in this game, so I changed them as well and I gave them kind of a cartoony look. Crates showcase. I tried to integrate a controller support bad idea. It wasn't fun at all. So after a few days of being depressed I finally made it kinda work. Okay let's make the level. So the most important thing in this level are the planks. The safe one which is safe to walk on. The unstable one falls when you touch it. No need to describe this one. And the final one is frozen. So you slip down and die. Let's make them. This is clearly far to jump, that's why double jump was invented in games. So you have to hit a special combination of buttons to make the double jump. Anyways, let's build some bridges. So I drew a concept of the level with my terrible drawing skills because it helps me with the level visualization. And I even had to make a clue for myself so I can decipher it when I come back to it a few days later. Okay, but what would a level be without hostiles? So if you remember the high altitude hogs, that's maybe the reason why they can fly. Then this is basically the same enemy type. But it's a pingan. Let's not forget about the bouncing turtles. Allow me to show you some of the details. I bet that a lot of you tried to cheat in this level by walking on the ropes. So I programmed a force which is meant to always slide you down whenever you touch the upper rope. Another cool feature in Crash games is that when you break all the crates, you get a special power gem. They ask you how you are. Wait, one thing is still missing better. I guess that it's finally time to try it out guys.
Now it's your turn. Thanks for watching guys I hope that you liked the video and if you would like to see more of this game then let me know down in the comments. Stay awesome and see you next time.